Hello guys, welcome to Android Android Noobs. This is me Pranav and today I'm here with a review of Exodus ROM based on Marshmallow for you Eureka. Let's get going. So first I would like to show you the Android version as we always do. Settings about phone. So it's based on Android version 6.0.1 or 22. Exodus version is 6.0. It's an it's kind of a nightly version not the fully stable build but it is very much stable according to my usage it gave me the best battery back of, of all the mm roms that's for sure this rom is based upon aosp not cyanogen as most of you might be aware of so this is the app drawer not the dark theme not the letter one and there's no option to change that either there's only wallpaper widget and settings and this settings takes you to allow rotation on home screen but as to my personal experience, I even felt that rotation bug in this ROM, like that happens after some time you flash the ROM. Most of the MM ROMs based on Sanitin or AOSP have this. So let's hope for, uh, what do you say, fix for that in the next update. So there are some Exodus wallpapers available. I mean this last one. Exodus wallpaper. There are some pretty cool wallpapers like to choose from. I love them. Personally, having them without installing any third-party app or something. Coming pre-installed is always handy. We even have a good camera. Camera quality is not a big matter. Let us see the battery review. One second, guys. So here it is. 14% and approx 2 hours left. Even the screen on time is very much impressive. See, as you can see, 5 hours. Like I, As you can see, the time is 8.42 p.m. The phone was at 100% today morning at 7. I had used it very heavily since then. And it's still at 14% left. So that's an amazing battery backup. Yeah, I am on a custom, uh, what do you say, kernel. Uh, velocity 10.5 kernel. Not the stock one. And I have everything. I'll sh even show you my settings. I have everything kept on conservative as you can see. CPU garner here, conservative. Even the little one and big one. Next going to CPU hot plug. I turn this interleaf plug on and profile. It's on conservative as well. So the thermal settings, I don't care much about them. And I keep GPU on power save as I don't do gaming. If you do gaming, uh, you should mind changing that as well. So this this ROM comes pre-rooted as I'll take you through all the settings and show you what all are available. So yes, the basic Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SIM cards, etc. Display settings. You have get you get the adaptive brightness. You can even change the theme. Like there's a light version, and also the dark version. I keep it on automatic, so that's like at night it goes dark and in the morning it becomes bright. I think the rotation wasn't working as it was disabled, so that might mean that rotation might work. I'll actually yes it it is working. I have just paused the video and done that. Yes it is working. So rotation works quite well. Sounds and notifications, even the memory bar. So RAM management is quite good. No lags. I have faced no lags till now. So there's all the basic stuff that Android has. Even the developer options. So there's, as you can see, there's no advanced reboot option here. As you can see. But this is Exodus. This has got quite customized, quite some customizations for an AOSP ROM. Just swipe from right and you get all the Exodus settings. Like, I'll show you one by one. There's an interface option here where you can change, set the navigation bar. And all those things. Now you can even change the status bar settings like the battery and clock. Very pretty good for an AOSP con customization. Even the gestures like double tap to sleep and double tap to wake up. And this overview consists of the uh, search bar and RAM bar in the recents button. And uh, the advanced reboot option where like yeah, you can select screenshot, blue bar, blur behind power menu and all those options. So advanced reboot kind of exists here and next going to hardware it's I related to buttons not actually not buttons yeah it is related to buttons it is related to buttons like single tap and double tap on the recent or home button what do you want that to do that all those all things now ROM controls you can even cha change the LCD density AOSP manager and all that thing see there's even a system maps removed here even there's a layers manager which you need to download separately but yeah it supports and you need root for that and this 
ROM is pre-rooted. Super Su is pre-installed right here. I actually know that. Yeah, Super Su is installed right here. And if you want to update your ROM, you can directly do that through the Exodus updater. So uh, that was some basic basic overview of the ROM. I would say this ROM is pretty good. And a small ad. Please use this you know app all in one app for the forms, including you official forms. And if you want, you can even add XDA. You know available on Play Store. So back to the review. So all the Google apps are supporting. There is no like not this device is not supporting error and all that. The ROM is quite smooth. Very good for any OSP lover with a lot of customizations of Cyanogen. So that's a pretty good ROM. I would definitely suggest it to anyone who wants it. You can even disable the buttons from the Exodus settings to enable the nav on screen nav buttons. So yes guys, that's pretty much for the review. If you have any doubts, please leave in the comment section down below. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you guys. Hope to see you in the next video. This is me Pranav from Android Noob signing off.